Okay guys, this is going to be a review of Chaos Froyo for the HCC Droid Eris. First thing you'll notice when you open up the ROM, you have the Froyo 2.2 lock screen, time, charging, and the date. You also have the slide to unlock sound on, sound off. Good for when you want to change the volume without having to open up the phone. Um, the phone is drawn using Launcher Pro. It comes stock with ADW Launcher, but I prefer to use Launcher Pro. So let's take a look at the settings. You have new setting icons on 2.2. It's like this straight across all of the Froyo uh, builds for the Droid Eris because using Cyanogen Mod 6.0. So you see this is using Froyo Eris. It's Chaos Froyo version 23 and it's Android 2.2. You can see there you go, Chaos Froyo version 23. They do have a version 24 now, but we just I haven't upgraded to that yet. They just I reflashed this with the N A N D. Uh, those are some of the tweaks you can use with the Cyanogen mod settings, since this is supported from Cyanogen mod 6.0. Next up, we're gonna check the live wallpapers. Unfortunately, live wallpapers do not work on this version of Froyo Eris. I'm, I'm not sure if you know some of them might work but the ones that come built in with Chaos Froyo version 23 don't seem to be working um, it's a hardware issue with the Droid Eris itself so don't get too upset and if you ever do get live wallpapers working they are really buggy and slow your phone down so it's really not worth it so let's get out of that Next up, we're going to be checking out set CPU overclocking for the Droid Eris. Uh, you can safely overclock the Droid Eris on Chaos for your around 710 megahertz. You will get maximum performance from that. I believe you go any higher, your phone will freeze and reboot. Uh, let's see, what do we check next? We'll go to super user permissions if I can find it. Uh, there you go. Uh, because the Droid, the Droid Eris is rooted, you have super user permissions for some of the applications on the phone. Uh, let's see. Next, we're going to be testing the wireless tethering app option. You can get this application off of the Android Marketplace. Uh, works really well with Android 2.2. It's just a simple click to uh, start tethering. We're going to show you this. I'm going to show you this tethering using an iPod Touch. Uh, you do this on a daily basis. Uh, I prefer to use my iPod Touch for internet and for the browser and multimedia than using my Droid Eris because of the fact that it is a little slow. So, I'll just show you how it works here. Here's my iPod is in airplane mode. I'm going to turn the brightness down so it's better for the recording. And now uh, I turn airplane mode off. We're going to go to see which of my wireless networks are open. Since I already turned on wireless tethering on the phone, we'll see it here. Ignore the big penis. That's my home network. Haha. <laughs> so you see, Android Tether shows up. You can change the name and you can put passwords if you want. I leave it open for the sake of test purposes. You got a notification when you connect. See there, it says my iPod is connected. And you you can check on the bottom the down and up, so you can see how much your phone is using on data. So we'll check out Safari browser. Google is open. We're gonna go to one of the websites I go to on a daily basis. We're going to go to technobuffalo.com. I've been here before, so I'll just click it when it opens. And it's going to be a little slow because this is tethering from the uh, Verizon's 3G mobile network and I only got about one or two bars from where I live. Uh, wired tethering works a lot faster, but you know, wireless is a little bit slower than wired tethering. And wired internet, so for this sake you can see it's downloading a lot of data and the website sort of loads not all the way yet you know because it's a little slow wait for that to load up a little bit more I just cancel that got it then we'll go to check the aim application see how it works on an application that requires constant use of the internet sorry turn my flash on for a second so I'm gonna sign in. Yeah, that is my aim, by the way. No spam, please. And we'll check who's online, and works fine. This is testing on an application that requires constant connection. 
all wired or wirelessly tethered from the HTC Droid Eris. All right, we'll exit that and go back to the uh, go back to the Eris itself. Turn off wireless tethering. All you have to do is just click the wireless tethering icon right there. Just press the stop tethering, and you're pretty much done. See, see? simple as that. On and off with with a touch with a simple touch. All right, we'll exit that now. We're gonna test out the browser on this. This is using the stock 2.2 browser. This is pretty much the same browser you'll find on the uh, Nexus One, the Droid. Uh, not the Incredible. The Incredible uses the HTC browser. You see there, I have the HTC keyboard. You can actually choose between the keyboards. I'm going to show you now. That was HTC IME keyboard. You just go to the input method and you can choose to the Android keyboard. So you get stock Android and the stock HTC keyboard. So a little bit of good of the both worlds. Both of them do have the uh, voice input, although I, I, I prefer not to use them. I believe just, you know, I, I'm, I do way faster just typing it out. So here I'm going to show you on the browser. We're going to go to technobuffalo.com here. We're going to press enter. And web. Oh, I misspelled it. Wow. Sorry. We'll just edit that. Put that U in there. I prefer to use the 2.2 browser because I can still see the status bar on top than to use the uh, the HTC browsers. Eh, I, I just like this one better. Loads better. Let me see. Web page loaded pretty quickly even though I only had one bar of Verizon's 3G network. And now we're going to try loading a video off of the website. YouTube video. Give it a second. All the ads are loading because this does have a little... Uh, flash uh flash light capable they at least kept that part of the uh the droid Eris. droid Eris was uh one of the first android films in the hcc hero that had a uh, flash light on it so videos loading mm, yeah it starts playing this is john render's review of the dd beats uh earbuds you can see this is the youtube player and it looks like it's loading quite fine. A little tiny chop, you know, in there. But you are over a wireless network with only one bar of strength. So we'll exit that out. And we'll move on. We're going to go to show, I'm gonna show you the updated uh, marketplace application. The Android marketplace was updated with the 2.2 firmware. There's minor update, but something I found to be pretty unique. Well, pretty, a lot better, actually. Besides the fact that now you can't update all at the same time, the, the iPhone 4, you can do the same thing. But now when you actually go to the application, you have an about, which shows you the, um, the general information of the uh, application. You see screenshots or the, the information about the developer. And you also have a comments button. Before, it was all on one tab, and you have to press to view more of the comments. I like this better because you can see, you know, a full list of the comments on an application before downloading. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.